Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 5, number 76. And here we were, or not 76, excuse me, this one's 85. We were told the number of miles driven by a truck driver falls between 300 and 700 and follows a uniform distribution. So you see me right in here, right? Actually, let me write this. My variable is number of miles driven. All right. And the units in this are going to be miles, which is fine. And I have that it's uniform. There was my min, there was my max. So basically my spread is 300 to 700. If I wanted to make a PDF of this, and it's never a bad idea to make a PDF, because it's uniform, it's going to be a rectangle. I see that I'm going from 300 to 700. So just taking a look right now, my base is 400. And I get that from subtracting 300 from 700. That just means that my height is the reciprocal of that. All right, so... As I look at part A where it says find the probability that a truck driver goes more than 650 miles in a day, I want to mention anytime you hear probability, right, probability, that's going to be equivalent to area under that curve. And I'll put curve in quotes right now only because we're dealing with a rectangle, so it's not really curvy. But I need to go x greater than 750, right? That's what this is looking like. So let's go find, um, I said 750, I meant to say 650. Let's go find 650 on the x-axis. I think it would be here. And if I want to go to the right of that, because I'm greater than, I'm going to go shade this area. All right. Now, I'm going to go from 650 to 700. Just looking at that, that to me looks like it's maybe 20%, right? Just gra based on what I graphed. It's definitely less than 50, right? I think this would be the 50th percentile. So I just like to get a, an idea of what that number should be before I go crunch any numbers officially. But anytime you want to calculate a probability, it's always base times height. Our base for this problem is going to be 700 minus 650, and that's going to be 50. So that's where you see that number. The height is uniform. It's always 1 out of 400. Or in this problem, it's 1 over 400. And there's my probability. So for part B, it says, what's the probability that you go between 400 and 650 miles in a day? Well, if I want to go between 400 and 650 miles, well, I think 400, it's going to be closer to here. So let's go 400, and then I need to go this time to 650 again. But I want to go and get this area under the curve. Now, if I look at that one, that looks like a good chunk. I think that's at least 50%. Right, just taking a look at it, it might even be more than 50%, maybe like 50, 60%. But you can see this is this orange rectangle is much larger than that pink rectangle. And I was off on the pink rectangle, right? I initially, you can see it right here. I thought 20%, right? And it was really only 12 and a half. But it's just me sketching a graph. I still knew it was on the low, knew it was on the low end. And for the 50%, I am gonna be a little bit off, but again, it's just giving me a baseline. So here we go, we need to go base times height, right? Base times height, well my base now, my new base, oops, excuse me, my base here is gonna be 650 minus 400, so that's gonna give me 250 for my orange base. And that's why you see the 250 there, and the height, it's uniform, right? So it's one out of 400. 62%, right? Or 62.5%. Now, again, this number, it's a little bit off from here, but it's close enough. I, I, I'm i happy enough that I knew it was around 50% and I got 63% here. That's great. And then the last one, it says, at least how many miles does the truck driver travel on the furthest of the 10, uh, furthest 10% of the days? Okay, so now let me go in here and erase some of the things that I have. I want to be real specific about what I erase. So let's take a look at how this is going to roll. All right, so let me get rid of all of this stuff and see if I can get rid of a good chunk of this. All right, wait for it. Oop, that was too much. Wait for it. There we go. I'm getting there, getting there, getting there. Okay, so I just want to start clean and fresh without erasing my original PDF. And let me erase these. Okay. So if I want to talk about the furthest 10%, right? Because that's what it says, the furthest 10% of the days. You want to figure out what number is here so that the furthest 10%, because furthest means the miles are the largest, right? I want the top 10%. And the top 10% is cut off by the bottom 90%, or what we would call the 90th percentile. 
and we have a percentile equation, right? We can set base times height equal to that percentile, but I just, I worry that a bunch of folks are gonna put 10% there. But you have to remember that if you want the top 10%, it's the same as the bottom 90%. That cutoff is the same. So we need to make sure we have the right conversion in there. Now, you know the height, right? The height is one out of 400. So I crunch this and I get 360. And I want us to think about this number because enough folks are gonna stop here and they're going to get it incorrect. And let me show you why. Think about where 360 is on the x-axis. It's somewhere over here. That can't be the answer. That's not the 90th percentile. And the reason behind that is because the base, this right here, this base needs to be 360. So whatever this number is, and actually let me just call it x for right now, x minus 300 has to equal 360. So x minus 300 has to equal 360 because I need the base to equal 360. So really x is 660. And I think maybe just an easier way to do that is whatever you find your base to be, in this case it's 360, add your minimum to it because you need to be 360 units away from your starting point of 300. So really what you're looking at here is that the truck driver travels at least 660 miles on the furthest 10% of the days. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.